This woman asked God to give her a white husband, but years later, she regretted it. I was so like, so tired of everything. I said, God, please give me a white boyfriend who will take care of me, who will give me a family what I need. God answered her request after only 30 minutes. Within that minute, God answered my prayer. But years later, she regretted it. You understand? Can you imagine? All your friends, they think, is your husband takes care of you. He's the best. You yourself, you know, me, myself, I'll tell you I have the best husband. And here, the whole village is in my house, coming to rescue me. In the beginning, everything seemed fine. It fell apart. This is my husband, Sasha, he called him Sasha. Uh, he was not taking care of anything. His wife was drinking daily, 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 drinking. He would maybe go check on things, well, blah, blah, blah. When there are no workers, put some food and then he forgets. I, I tried. I had opened that small salon there. He told me, no, close it. It's not bringing anything. Like, okay, you want it to bring us more like $100 a month, which is the, that, that could be to bring such there. He told me, no, that's not work. Close it. So I closed. I stayed home. Now, that day, I remember we had a very big fight. When uh, I tried to talk to him, we were upstairs and we were getting back. I told him, no, I'm going to stop you. You will not go anywhere. He held my heart behind my back. And then, do you know these Russians? They go to army when they are 21 years, like all the men. So, so this one is, has also been in the army before. And he was twisting my heart behind my back. And I, I even pissed on myself. It was painful, man. So, so painful. And I cried and cried. I was, Such, I don't know where your passport is. I don't know. He, he twisted me more. You have to tell me. I, I lied to him. I know where it is. I will show you. Say, I, that time, I don't even know where it is. He twisted me. Got down, uh, downstairs, and uh, he said, give, give it to me. I don't, I don't know where it is. He strangled me. So he strangled me until blood started coming out of my mouth. And I was screaming in that house, people to come and help me, because I had locked the doors. I was screaming. You need help. People came. They almost the whole village. And the gate is locked. They were throwing stones at the gate. They cannot enter that house. That Mzungu, that Mzungu house, they cannot enter. The real Sasha was a very uh, fierce person. Um, so it's my mom who came. She had, she's like that minute away walk from my house. As you could, if I shouted, like very, very shouting, she could hear. So she had, she came to see. She thought that's from Beatrice's house. She came. Opened the, the, she don't even go through the gate, through the fence, came and tried to break the door. When Sasha had my mom, he stopped strangling. It was like, when I tried to scream, he would put a cloth in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It was like, gosh. And then, that's, it was so painful because there's a guy, all your friends think he's a very good husband to you. Do you know? Brave woman who stayed patient and strong through everything. Now she and her husband are no longer together. As a mom, she's fighting to raise her two children. She says it's really tough for her, and she's asking for help from everyone who watches this video. She believes that help is simple and that everyone can do it. So for me, any anyone who would be in, uh, interested, if you have listened to my story, anyone who would be interested to help me and my kids, you know, I'm trying right now to make this place better. It is supposed to be actually finished, down and up. Uh, but uh, it didn't go through because of all those stories. Huh? Uh, anyone who would be able to, would like to help me a little bit anywhere. Anyhow. Anyhow. Um, you can be able to reach me through my contact on my channel. They are there, my contact in the description box of my channel. Uh, Betty's Stories from Kenya. That's the name of my channel. What about your husband? Do you think he needs help? Uh, my husband, he needs a lot of help. I cannot say, uh, because we are separating, that that guy does need help. But the help he needs is medical. He has a problem with this. Medically, he needs a lot. Even his friends know that. But we have tried to tell him to go back to his country to get help, treatment, so that he can get back well, physically, you know, and also mentally, and to start afresh. He refused. But I know he needs In life, we all have stories. So which one of you black men are going to help this black woman and her two mixed-race children by a white grandpa? Divesting gone wrong.